Welcome back, Hocoholics, uh, to our November 8th Thanksgiving episode. Um, it's November the 8th, and our mail order mystery tackle box for November showed up. So it's really cool. Got it in the first week of the, of the month, which is awesome. Kind of unexpected. I've been recently been receiving them mid-month, so it's a pleasant surprise. So uh, as a Thanksgiving episode, I'm thankful. I'm also thankful for all you, you out there supporting me on this journey in YouTube, and uh, I'm going to be throwing up a couple of pictures in here from uh, that was sent to us from uh, a subscriber, a fellow hookaholic, and uh, we'll be able to see some photos as we go through the video, so it's something I wanted to do a while ago, and I'll probably throw it in here and there throughout the year of, um, you know, just people who submit photos, you can submit any kind of catches you have, any kind of tackle pictures you have, anything you like that emulates what your love and passion for, for fishing is to uh, foulmouthfisherman at gmail.com and uh, I'll slip them in here and there into different videos. It's just my way of like really being a community because uh, that's what I want. I want to be a community centric kind of show. So uh, let's crack into this box and see what MTV gave us for this Thanksgiving's November edition. As I said, <clears throat> it's the 8th, and uh, we got our MTV for November, and uh, first views for yous. Um, let's see what we got. We got a, it's, a, it's not a heavy box this time. I wasn't expecting it. Normally, like, I track to see how much the box weighs and, uh, and follow the shipping course, but it came so quickly, I didn't even look up online. Uh, we've got, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine baits, lucky number nine. So we got nine items today. Uh, there's a little picture of what's in it. Starting off, we got a, oh, okay. We got a Jenko. Jenko. Jenko, the original. Uh, the tr this is their Jenko's Rip Knocker. So this is a lipless crankbait um, that Jenko puts out. I'll leave up here a card for the, uh, for the trap line Rip Knocker video that I made showing you how not to lose that. The trap line was a line-through version of this very bait. This is the original, which is just your standard lipless crank. There we go. And then the trap line, the way they designed it, is it had a hole here rather than a split ring and an attachment point, and it had a hole in the bottom, and you fished your fishing line straight through and then tied your treble hook off, and then you would actually use it as a line-through bait. This is the original, which is the you know standard lipless crankbait design. So this one is coming in as the uh, gag on it green? Gag on it green. That's what they call this. Basically a bluegill pattern. You've got your gold hues. You've got a lot of glitter in there. Emerald green and a, a, and a blue hue with a almost... Again, you're going to that like... It's kind of like a brown auburn kind of color on the top, but that's cool because it all it all works out well. It goes from that that brown to the to the green to a blue hue to that. Um, uh, it's not transparent. It's it's like opaque, so you you can still see through a lot of it, but it's it's got color to it. So that's pretty cool. Happy to have that. This is a seventy five millimeter and it weighs fifteen and a half grams. Because uh, Jenko, being as they are, they have to go metric on us. <laughs> so 15 and a half grams. Not bad. Uh, this is great. I, I like this early in the fall as grass lines are starting to die off. Uh, the later and colder the water gets when the grass kind of dies off completely, I don't really throw liplesses as much because I really like to tick these over grass lines. And when the grass is gone, there's no reason to, to be throwing this. Uh, let's set this back here. The Jenko rip line or the Jenko fishing rip knocker is $9.99. Next up, again, also $9.99 from Strike Pro Pro, we have the Water Strike. Strike Pro's Water Strike. Strike Pro's tournament grade. Secret weapon. I'm assuming this is it. So this is the Strike Pro Water Strike 85 in blue shiner. It's three and three-eighths inches long. 
It weighs 7 sixteenths of an ounce, and it's a top water walking bait. So this is a nice little small top water spook, again, going with that similar color pattern. Now, where I fish, bluegill, crawfish, and they stock a lot of trout. So trout is another great forage for the bass. So having any kind of color scheme that resembles like this rainbow trout-esque, bluegill-esque uh, color is really awesome. Uh, for catching catching bass, especially the, the larger bass, because the larger ones are going to go for those trout as their forage. Um, so again, it's a top water. Blue shiner is the color. Not bad. Sticky hooks. Catching myself on the, on the leg or on the, the finger. It does have... Let's see, is this silent or has it got rattles in it? Got a little bit of a knock in there. So that's not bad. So you're going to have your top water action, and you're going to have a little bit of sound resonance that can call fish in from a little bit further away, um, which is always good, always good, especially this time of year. Because, again, you have to make sure that your presentation is either right on top of them where they can't resist and you're going to get a, a desperation reaction strike, or you really do have to make sure that you're, you're calling them to you because you have to entice them because they're slowly getting less less apt to attack things as the waters drop off. They're still pretty warm now, and this is the feed time uh, where I'm at, so I'm not too worried. I can still run silent baits, but it's nice to have something to pull out. If the silent one's not catching it, I can downsize a little bit and go to something with a little bit of a, of a hint of sound uh, to call more fish in. Next up, Team Arc's lipless crankbait. So we have another lipless, this one from Team Arc. Same thing. Um... This one is called Mystic Sexy Shad. It is their LP3810 lipless crank. It's two and an eighth inches long. It weighs 13 30 seconds of an ounce. Okay. <laughs> 13 30 seconds, that's great. Uh, two and an eighth inches long again. Uh, not bad, let's see what we got here. Love packaging. Arc is a really good company. Um, I don't have a, this is going to be the first lipless crank I have from them, though. I have some, some other baits from their, uh, from their company. But this is the first lipless. Loud. Very loud little lipless. Again, you got a little shad spot on there. You've got that bluegill shad presentation, that nice yellow lateral line there. It's a small flat lipless, so that's good. You just hear that rattling through the water. That's definitely going to bring in bring in fish from far. That's that's cool. That I like. I might even uh, put that on probably my lighter line and swim that just because of the size of it. Um, that's really cool. All right, so that's seven dollars and ninety nine cents for that arc lipless. All right, next from Castaic, the Mana, Castaic's Mana. So now we have. Mana Crank, we have a 2 inch, 5 sixteenths, 2 to 4 foot diving little crankbait called the Mana by, by Castaic. Um, and this is their, comes with a little sticker. That's cool. Comes with a little Castaic sticker to go on the, uh, the old FMF Pennywise. And, uh, Right chartreuse and baby blue. One knocker, lower thud. Does have a really cool gill accent. A little red, red ear style just behind the gill plate there. That's definitely helpful. Two to four foot, great for the shallow, shallow diving inland. Great for if you're uh, fishing up a bank rather than off a boat. That's always awesome to have some shallow divers. Because you can call it, cast it out there and it's not going to dig so much as you're drawing it back up to the bank that you're just kind of like fighting more of the lure than you would uh, a fish if you had him on the line. Because that becomes very tiresome when it's an effort just to get it back to you. But that's, I like that. I do like that. I have quite a few baits in my crank uh, box that are this color scheme. The pale light blues with the high chartreuse. Great for muddy stained water. 
great for crystal clear water if you're burning this really fast. They're not going to get a great look at it. They're going to get more of the, the vibration, and they're going to see these glimpses of color flying through, and they'll, they'll school in and bang it. Um, so that's really cool. This is a good burner bait, uh, two to four foot. So that's, again, I like that a lot. And the Mana series is, again, $7.99, just like the, uh, the Arc. So next up from Catch Outdoors, for $7.19, we have what they call the Jack Slap. And this is a little blade bait. So we have a Jack Slap blade bait. If you guys are on hard water in the north in Canada and, and etc., this is something awesome for that. Um, I don't particularly fish blade baits all that often. I like their presentation too. They have it in here and they have this little little foam pad. So that's nice. They could just It's kind of old school. I remember a lot of the baits used to be on little foam rubber pads in the packaging. It's got a little Colorado tail blade, bright, shiny chrome color, tiny little, let me get the foam rubber off the, off the treble's barb. <laughs> Clean her up there, buddy. Clean this off a little bit, and teeny, tiny little barb there. So this is definitely, for me, this is my, you know, yo-yo vertical um, fishing, more for cold, cold water, hard water, you know, Catch perch, catch catch anything, crappie, bass, what have you, pike, especially if you're, you know, hard water fishing like my friend uh, over there from, uh, so, I like, you know, Josh would love this. <laughs> I might actually send this to Josh as a, a sign of appreciation, because this is, this is within the realm of the size that he likes uh, in, in, in dimension, and uh, let's see, maybe he might like it, so. Look out, Josh. You might end up this in, in your mail someday soon with a little bit of a care package from me because I always appreciate those who uh, take the time out of their day and, and help me. So this is a nickel color, quarter ounce, uh, little 3D eyes, jack slap, blade bait. I don't fish blades that much, so I'm really happy to see this go to somebody who can find some use, with, use for it. Uh, again, that's $7.19. Drop my castaic on the floor. Uh, for $6.99 from Lunker Hunt, we have the Impact Slash 12S Jerkbait. So we have a Lunker Hunt Jerkbait. Uh, this one goes to 12 foot. It's 5 eighths of an ounce, 4 inches long. Deep, deep, deep diver. So. Nice color scheme. Another color that I do appreciate. Again, we have a translucent color pattern. It's not transparent. You can't see perfectly through it, but it's not fully opaque. It's just, uh, you know, you've got weight transfer. You've got three BBs here, a weight in the back, a small BB in the back for casting. Big, big spade lip. So that gets you down to that 12 foot pretty darn fast, I would assume. So let's see what this sounds like. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. So, uh, interesting, interesting. I do have a few deep divers. Uh, I do have places that I can use them. Not everywhere here in New Jersey, though. Uh, can go 12 feet on inland. But uh, this is great. Great minnow shiner pattern. Definitely, definitely like that. Uh, and again, this one from Lunker Hunt is $6.99. So, that's a good value for a bait this size. And from a company that I actually do respect. The Lunker Hunt does have, they have a lot of gimmicky items, um, especially in their soft plastics. And they did all jump on that bandwagon, you know, following things like the 3D ducks and the, you know, obviously the frogs and all, kind, all kinds of stuff from Lunker Hunt. But, uh, and other brands that try to get more anatomically correct uh, baits. But with their hard baits, I love their hard baits. Uh, you know, sometimes I like their gimmicky baits and the soft plastics, but their hard baits have always proven to be fish catchers for me uh, when I've used the Lunker Hunt baits. So that's pretty cool. $6.99 for that. Three to go. So we got our first uh, terminal tackle now. This is from Spearpoint again. Spearpoint hooks. We've got a six pack. Six pack of number two uh, finesse drop shot wacky or Nico hooks. So we got those spear points, 
I, I caught my, uh, my birthday gift to myself fast on a spear point and one of the, uh, one of the Chase Bates soft plastics. The key about spear point is the way that they've designed their hook bend. Let's see, I'll put it against something here. All right, so you have the barb, but then this, this little corner right here catches the lip and it prevents that, that hook from sliding down the shank and really wrapping back and forth. It really does pin the fish in that little V groove right there and they have a heck of a time trying to get back out. So fundamentally, when, whenever I've hooked them, you know, it's, it's gotten up in there, it's locked itself in, they've thrashed, and I haven't lost uh, a fish off of the hook. I've lost fish when the line is snapped, but I haven't lost a fish on a spear point hook yet uh, from them spitting the hook. Uh, I've pulled the baits out of the mouth of the fish before they've actually committed to it, I will say that. But uh, when I've had a spear point actually penetrate, they've held on and I've brought the fish to the bank. So that's pretty cool. I do respect that. $5.49 for a six pack. It's a little steep in my opinion, but nevertheless, I mean, they are just Nico finesse hooks. I'd like to see a, a better price, but what are you going to do? Uh, Samantis Baits, they have the Samantha, Samantha Shot. The Samantha Shot for $4.66. Uh, Samantha shot. So these are little finesse worms, soft plastics. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Flat pour, got that spade tail again, that I beam or T beam style tail. Tiny little finesse drop shot. They're flat poured, so they're flat on this side. And then round on the bottom. So it goes right in line with those, those uh, spear point hooks. So excellent to, uh, to nose rig this. Um, and speaking of, right here we've got some drop shot weights. 3 sixteenths, a five pack from, uh, from our friend at Carl Stash for $3.49 is the six pack, or excuse me, the five pack of the lead drop shot, uh, drop shot weights. So you've got your plastic your hooks, and your drop shot weights. So there's your drop shot rig right there. So there's your finicky finesse fishing. You've got your deep diver for the more active fish. You've got a blade bait for the hard water and the real lethargic because blade, blades do catch. Blades and spinners and, and spoons, they catch fish like crazy. You've got your top water, obviously. And then you've got not one, but two lipless crankbaits, and a regular nice lip crankbait from Castaic. So I think they have a pretty well-rounded box here. Again, the Jenko Rip Knocker uh, standard was $9.99. The Strike Pro Water Strike was $9.99. The Arc Lipless, which I really do like that color scheme, that was $7.99. The Castaic Mana is $7.99. The Catch Outdoors Jack Slap Blade was $7.19. The Lunker Hunt Impact 12-foot diver jerk bait was $6.99. Spear point uh, six-pack of hooks was $5.49. The Semantis drop shot bait, uh, I'm gonna call it the drop shot, they call it the Samantha shot, so I'm gonna call it drop shot bait. The finesse bait was $4.66 for a soft plastic. And then finally, those Carl Stash drop shot uh, weighted weights was $3.49. All in all, I think it was a pretty well-rounded box. Again, I'm happy that it, uh, it showed up as it did unexpectedly, and uh, I hope you enjoy the pictures that I'm going to pop up in here throughout the video and at the tail end. Uh, as always, from me to you, and uh, especially from me to Josh uh, over there at Fish in the Mitten, thank you for submitting your photos. Thank you for all your stories and interactions. Thank all of you out there, you hookaholics, for commenting down below, keeping the interaction, commenting on our uh, communities tab on the channel. And as always, from me to you, peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Take care, guys, and have a healthy and happy Thanksgiving.